Hey y'all, it's your host, Leah Cruz, and welcome to another episode of TMA TV. We have an awesome show lined up for you. On tonight's episode, we'll be catching up with 2021 Tejano Music Award winner Emmanuel J and 18-year-old singing sensation Isabel Marie. So get comfy, grab your favorite drinks and snacks, and get ready to chill with us for a 30-minute show of great Tejano music. Let's kick things off with Gabe and 2021 TMA Best New Artist Award winner Emmanuel J. All right, Tejano Music Awards TV fans, we're back in the studio. I'm here at the ARC Zavala Music Studios with my invited artist of the week, Mr. Emmanuel J. How you doing, Emmanuel? Welcome to the studio. Yeah, thank you for having me, man. Doing pretty good, you know, just uh, living life, staying blessed, brother. Awesome. I'm so happy that we finally get to get you in the studio. I've been following you like crazy, almost stalkerish. No, I'm just kidding. Totally not stalkerish. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, your new album is doing great. Uh, what's the name of the new album, by the way? The new album is entitled Numero Dos. Numero Dos. Yes, sir. Uh, which is a great album. It's one of my faves. I've been spinning it like crazy on Spotify. Thank you so much. And now you are Tejano Music Award winning Emmanuel J. Look at this beautiful yeah. trophy, man. <laughs> Check that out. Mira nomás. It's an awesome feeling, you know. Um, growing up, me and my brother, you know, we dreamed about you know, winning one of these things, and honestly, you know, our dreams came true, you know, now on to the next one, man, you yes. know. And uh, you're doing a great job, by the way. Um, just really kicking butt, man. I'm so, so proud of you guys, man. Um, and when we say you guys, um, I'm acknowledging his twin brother, uh, Emmy, which is a bass player. He's not here today, but yeah, yeah. Um, but he's definitely out doing something crazy. Uh, he's playing with uh, Grupo Mas right now, Joe Lopez, yeah, right? Yeah, that is right. Yeah, he's been with them for a little while now, and uh, as far as I know, he likes it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, which is really cool because these guys are actually... Um, uh, transplants from Colorado. Shout out to Colorado. You know, uh, yeah, so me and my brother we were born and raised in Colorado. Um, you know, our family's still out there. You know, four years ago, me and my brother, we moved out here to San Antonio to follow the dream, you know, live the life. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, they couldn't make the move with us. So uh, they're still out there, but they're watching from afar and still loving hard. Oh man, that's so great. Um, you guys, um, I guess, grew up with Tejano music. Is that is that what happened? Yeah, man. So me and my uh, me and my brother, we were exposed at a very young age. My dad was a drummer for a band out there. Uh, they played Tejano music with a little bit of twist. You know, it's like a, it was Tejano, but it was kind of like New Mexico style of music. Mm -hmm. New Mexico style, yeah. So, um, so he was a drummer out there, and and you know. Him being a drummer for like Tejano music, me and my brother we always listened to like Jay Perez and David Garza and Ricardo Castillo and you know, all this stuff, man. And it was just a genre that just you know spoke to us. You know, uh, with all the different styles of music that we have right now in Tejano, we have the Norteño light, we have the uh, Tejano cumbia, the club cumbia type of stuff. But you chose to go with that classic traditional Tejano sound, uh, like you mentioned earlier, with Jay Perez, like all those types of. Of, of sounds and, and you really embraced it well. Was there a reason that you chose that particular style? Honestly, um, I love pianos. I love, you know, EP, I love synths, you know, all that kind of stuff, jazz chords. You know, a lot of those things just speak to me, man. Um, you know, of course I like, you know, the accordion and bajo sexto and all that stuff. Uh, but what really spoke to me, man, was just the keyboards, man. And I just, I really love the, the, the sound of the, the music blended in, you know, with the rancheras, the cumbias and stuff. So uh, I knew I just wanted to continue to do traditional Tejano music. Uh, I have to say, I, I listened to the album multiple times on Spotify and uh, I loved all the songs, but uh, you know, one that one that really stuck out to me was the duet that you did with Monica Saldivar. How did yeah, that happen? Yeah. So. Um, you know, I guess I've, I've always wanted to do a duet, you know, with a female. And the only one that I can really think of because she was, you know, making the hits, you know, she was, all, she was everywhere, man, was uh, Monica Saldivar, you know, and I listened to her voice and I loved it, man, you know. So throughout time, you know, um, I got in touch with uh, a songwriter out in Florida. His name is Jonathan Espinosa. Jonathan Espinosa, yeah, shout, shout out. out. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I kind of just told him, hey, man, this is kind of how the, the song I wanted to go, more or less. And within a couple of days, the guy wrote me a beautiful song. And it's just something I, I wanted to do, you know, that style with, with Monica on the vocals and me, man. 
I felt like uh, the vocals just blended perfectly, you know. So it was just, it was a beautiful, beautiful uh, outcome, you know. I yeah. agree. I agree. Yeah, that was one that definitely stuck out to me, and and uh, congratulations on that. Thank you. And thank uh, you. huge congratulations to Monica as yeah, well. She yeah. really did really good on that song. Um, I gotta know, man. Are you a sports fan? Big Chiefs fan, but it doesn't really help me out around here, you know, in San Antonio because... Yeah, puro cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> it's cowboy country around here. Well, you know what? There's always basketball. I think what we should do is uh, have a little basketball game. What do you think about that? I do that? play a little bit of basketball, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome, yeah, man. Me and my brother, we go out and we go to the gym sometimes, uh, I don't know, somewhere here in San Antonio, and we, we just go play ball, man, and uh, awesome. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better every time I go out there, you know? Yeah, so yeah. if you want to set something up, man, you better... <sighs> I don't oh, know, man. man. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I think so you're ready. scared. No, I don't think I'm scared, man. I think I'm ready. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been going to the gym a little bit, too. You can't tell yeah, right now, okay. but I'm working on it. I'm just starting it. You know, I'm starting out. But uh, I'll tell you what, man. We'll get a little game, friendly little game going with all of our buddies. We'll take the cameras oh, yeah, out there. Yeah. And uh, we'll definitely give you guys a show. Heck cool, yeah. man. But no, uh, thank you very much again, man, for stopping through and uh, sharing your story here with us Absolutely. and uh, um, definitely giving us an insight into into your story, where you come from and everything and, and what you're doing now. And it's just been a pleasure having you here in the studio. Uh, do you have any final words for your fans out there? Uh, just be staying tuned, man, uh, for a lot of new music, a lot of new uh, events coming up. We're going to be performing. So uh, if you guys have any questions, just follow me on all the uh, social media platforms out there visit my website www.emanuelj.com just stay tuned this awesome. is it yeah great thank well, you thank you again we'll be back with more TMA TV tengo tiempo de no ver el pero nunca me he olvidado de su amor Por mi culpa se me fue y nunca le he encontrado, oh mi Dios. Será ella sentada ahí en aquel rincón. O será tanto que la quiero que no más es una ilusión. Tiene su pelo y su figura y recuerdo. Cuando me enamoré Quiero decirle que me perdone Que no soy el mismo de ayer Será ella sentada ahí En aquel rincón O será tanto que la quiero Que no más es una ilusión Momentos de
enamorada En tus brazos me atrapadas La canción no se acaba En mi mente te cantaba Te quiero siempre Tú y yo toda la vida Bailaremos noche y día Nuestra canción te conoce te quiero siempre, tú y yo toda la vida Bailaremos noche y día, nuestra canción tan conocida Now it's time to shed some light on one of the most important parts of our industry, the musicians. Let's meet one of the most talented musicians and Tejano music producers in the industry, Mario Ortiz. What's up everybody, it's your boy Mario O, Mario Ortiz. I'm a producer slash keyboard player um, slash label owner of Big Grand Records. So most of y'all know me from the Jay Perez band. I was the music director there, the producer, um, road manager, uh, babysitter, driver, <laughs> all of the above. But um, yeah, it, it was it was a great experience for me, man. I, I definitely learned so much working on the road with Jay. But um, I have ventured out and, and I'm doing new things. Um, currently, I'm on the, on the road with uh, Frankie J, the R&B pop star, and uh, the Commodores as well. Um, so yeah, some of the, the new and up-and-coming artists that I've worked with, younger artists that I've worked with lately, um, Isabel Marie, we just did um, the live sessions right here in this studio right here, a uh, Studio 830 by the way, here in San Antonio, Texas. Be sure to look out for J.R. Gomez y Los Conjunto Bandits, um, new music is coming out. So yeah, so if you want to reach me guys, um, you can look us up at babygrandrecords.com, babygrandrecords.com. Thank you guys again, TTMA, I love you guys. Thank you for having me and letting me be a part of this. Much success. Huge shout out to Mario Ortiz for taking the time out of his busy schedule to talk to us on TMA TV. And now it's time to find out who's number one on Rudy Trevino's Tejano Gold Countdown Top 10 Songs of the Week. Coming in at number 10, it's Laura Linda with Tu Eres Mi Hombre Y Yo Soy Tu Mujer. Number 9, Espada with Besos y Besitos. Number 8, Magnifico 7 with Quédate. Number 7, Ruby Ann, Porque Duele el Amor. Number 6, La Fiebre with Juntito a Ti. Number 5, Texas Latino Completamente Enamorados. Completamente enamorados. Number 4, Marcos Orozco with Cada Día Más. Cada día más. Voy a quererte cada día. Number 3, Shelly Laris Porque Tú Eres Mi Cariño. Number 2, M2 with Ratatatata. Que yo te di, porque me 
fallaste en todo el tiempo. Porque decías que me amabas y por otro tú hablabas. Porque corres a sus brazos. things over to Gabe as he catches up with one of the most talented young vocalists in the Tejano industry, Isabel Marie. All right, TMA TV fans, I'm here in the Zavala Music ARC studios with my invited artist, Miss Isabel Marie. Hello. How are you, you doing? Thank you for having me. I'm doing very good. Thank you. No, it's my <laughs> pleasure. Thank you very much. How you been? Thank you. I've been busy, 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 but thank God the fans have been, you know, <laughs> keeping up with me on my social media and everything. So it's been fun and we're coming out with new music and having right. more Right. I heard the things. new song, No Me Mires Así. Tell me yes. all about that. I love this song. This song was written, written by Juan Trevino, who's an amazing songwriter. Shout out. Shout out to you. And um, it was produced with um, Carlos Alvarez and El Güero and Danny Zapata. So I had a really great time working with amazingly talented people and engineers and producers so I, I learned a lot from them and it's it's just a fun song that I'm so glad that is out now because you know we always have the song like months in advance and replaying it over and over and over and over again but now they get to listen to it and we play it so. I did notice um, one of the producers that you worked with on your new album was Mario Ortiz mm -hmm. and you guys did uh, release a um, was it called the solo sessions? It's what? called the live sessions. Live sessions, mm -hmm. right? Tell the fans about that. Yeah, so I actually, this was super spontaneous. And um, I was talking with Carlos Alvarez. And he was like, you know what? We should do something in the studio. Just like, just the piano and, and you. And I mean, that's really like going back to my roots. Because I love ballads and just like anything acoustic I love. So <laughs> I was like, you know what, this is a really great idea and who better than Mario Ortiz, he's an amazing pianist and just super talented. So we got into his studio and um, we had three songs or 
I think it was, at first it was three songs, and then we kept like going back and doing more, and then we, you know, accumulated all the songs for the live sessions. Um, but it was just super like we practiced it like one or two times, and then we hit record, and then that was it. But <laughs> um, in your perspective, being such a young artist, mm -hmm. um, how do you see that the Tejano industry from your young perspective? I definitely see it growing, and I've I've noticed this since I was little because, of course, it is more. Um, there's I really hadn't seen like the younger generation kind of gravitating towards Tejano music, and I kind of wanted to help with that. And I was so young when I started; I was nine years old, and that was professionally. So um, I fell in love with it, and I said, you know, if this makes me feel proud to be Mexican American, I'm sure there's going to be other young kids looking for something to really like take a hold of and be proud of. And so um, with my social media, like I've I'm seeing. Um, young people come in and say, you know what, I really love this music and it makes me feel really proud to be from Texas or from, from America and Mexican too. And so it's really amazing. And also I, I noticed that my performances, parents, they bring their kids and they're, they're like six years old, five years old. And they're like, you know, I grew up with this artist and I want them to grow up with you. And it, that's truly an honor. And I, I take that with my whole heart and, and I always try and make people proud. and and um, just, you know, continue to do my music the way that, you know, it's been working. <laughs> yeah, no, congratulations for that. Uh, earlier, I should have introduced you as Tejano Music Award winner, oh, Isabel thank Marie. You. <laughs> but uh, what was that like, winning your first Tejano Music Award? That was crazy. At the time, I was the youngest who had um, won the Best New Female Artist, and I think I was like 13 years old. Um, so it was definitely such a shocking moment, and I didn't expect it at all. And But, but my dad was like, okay, we're just going to go backstage right now. And I was like, but I perform in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm not performing yet. <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 they just want to show you something. And then I was being called up on stage. I didn't have a speech written at all. And I, I really like, I should have. <laughs> so I, I was just saying anything that popped at the top of my head. And I, I look back at it and I'm like, mm, maybe yeah, I should have been 13, a little prepared. <laughs> yeah, at 13 years old, I can't imagine what that might have been. But uh, I'm sure you did great. Thank and, you. Uh, and yeah, no, it's, you're originally from Chicago, correct? Yes. Okay, I was so. born in Chicago. I moved to San Antonio when I was nine years old. And um, it's, I, I have been going back a lot, but it's not like we're completely over there because we still have our house over here in San Antonio. But we keep going back and forth and we're in Texas at least once a month. But <laughs> it's definitely different to see the, the difference of like, um, like Chicago people and Texas people and the weather and then the sights and the food and the food. <laughs> yeah, we get the best of both worlds. Um, do you remember there being much of a like a Tejano music scene in Chicago? Actually, that's um, funny because when I grew up, my tío Miguel was playing Tejano music and we didn't realize it was Tejano music. He was playing Grupo Mas and La Mafia, but we just kind of like put it together as just Mexican music. And then when I moved over here, that's when I realized it was a whole genre. And it was crazy to see that because I was like, I grew up listening to these songs, but I just didn't know it was called Tejano music. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, you know now. Yeah, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Um, where can your fi fans find you? What are some of your social handles? Um, well, you can find me everywhere. I have <laughs> all social media. Um, I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm going to get a Reddit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but it's under Isabel Marie Official, and you can find me there. Mm -hmm. uh, by all means, um, Isabel, anytime you want to come back and promote any of your new music, uh, the show will always be open to you. Thank you always you. have your place here. Um, Tejano Music Award winner, uh, <laughs> Isabel Marie. Um, <laughs> thank yeah, you. Yeah, but thank you very much for, for stopping by. And I know our fans are going to love uh, uh, following up on you and checking out all your projects that are coming up. Thank but you. best of luck with everything. I appreciate and, uh, that. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and say goodbye goodbye for tonight all right thank you guys bye all right we're gonna turn <laughs> things back over to miss leah cruz and we'll be right back on tma tv what a great interview now let's check out the latest video by isma marie titled no me mires así right here on tma tv
sea vulnerable y vuelvo a fallar Si te me acercas juro no respondo te voy a besar Y que se entere todo el mundo entero no me va a importar También alguien más Y tu mirada me hace vulnerable Y vuelvo a fallar Si te me acercas juro no respondo Te voy a besar Y que se entere todo el mundo entero No me va a importar No me mires, no me mires así Soy presa fácil, me traes en la mira y me song by Isabel Marie. Make sure to add it into your new Tejano playlist today. It looks like we've run out of time for this week's episode of TMA TV. If you would like to reach out to us to appear on the show or let us know who you would like to see on the show, or if your company is interested in sponsor partnerships, hit us up online at www.tejanomusicawardstv.com. As always, I'm your host, Leah Cruz, and we thank you very, very much for checking out this episode of TMA TV. Make sure to keep up with us for what's coming up next on future episodes, and we'll see you next week on TMA TV.